In this video, we're going to go over flagging. Now, flagging is a feature that we recommend for both coaches and analysts. And what it is, is it allows you to bookmark clips to either add notes, send to a playlist, or keep for future reference. So how do we set up flags? Well, I'm going to go to Sports Code. I'm then going to go to Settings. And I'm going to select Flagging. I'm then going to enable flagging. Now, you can have flags for personnel, offense, defense, just review. I'm just going to have one here that's called Oliver's Clips. I'm going to add the hotkey of O, my initial, and I'm going to add notes and send to a sorter. I'm also going to add a second flag, and I'm just going to call this one playlist, and we'll get to soon why. And I'm not going to add any notes or sorter toggles. So I'm going to come to my row now, and I can start watching the game. Now each one of these little lines at the bottom here is a clip, and I can press tab to go um, along these clips. So let's say I want this clip. I'm going to press O, which is my hotkey, and that notes box is going to pop up because I selected that notes box to pop up. So I'm going to say this clip and then add it to my sorter. Now I can tab through a couple more clips. And let's say I want to add this clip. I'm going to press O again and here is my second clip. Now I'm not restricted to this one row of clips. I can quit out, go to this other row here. And again, I can start watching these clips, press tab to go along. And let's say I want this clip. I'm going to again press my hotkey and select this clip, tab along a few more and add one more. So now all those clips have been added to my sorter. I can see those clips because they're in my flags column here under Oliver's clips. Now earlier you saw me add that other flag called playlist and that's because I can also add flags within a playlist. So if I'm watching these clips here, I can also just select my other hotkey which was S and you'll see that flag has now been added to this clip. Let's go down a couple more by pressing tab, select my hotkey, and you'll see that flag's been added again. So I can add flags on top of flags, and I can add flags in the sorter. Now if I accidentally delete this playlist, not all my work is lost. I can find my flags also in the matrix. They're at the very bottom here, and I can again send them back to the sorter if I want to. I can also find my flags in the find window. So at the very bottom here, I can see my flags, select that checks box, select the clips, and again send them to a sorter. So that's why you can keep them for future reference, because if you flag over an entire season of games, you can, also, you can always pull those flags back out using the find window. So that's flagging, a very helpful feature for both coaches and analysts to bookmark clips, add notes, send them to a playlist, and keep them for future reference.